parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg, at Sorgatron on the Twitter. That's Mad Mike, if you guys are on the video. Real briefly there, it is the time to, you know, our, our weekly gathering of of everybody watching the same wrestling at the same time. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here. This is your Raw Wrap-Up, part of the Wrestling Mayhem Show.com. Thank you guys for joining us here on Facebook Live here every Monday night whenever we get the technology sorted out here after Monday Night Raw, at least on the East Coast for you guys. I need a, That's a distinction, I know. Uh, but with me, he is, uh, of course, the only member of the WMS roster with a future endeavored letter from the WWE. He is an, uh, from Poughkeepsie, New York, coming at us right now. Wait, where is this thing? Oh, oh, I don't have his button set up. Uh, he is oh, mad. No. Mike, I'll fix it. Talk so, to him. Talk to the people. Sorg, I love... Um, did, did your feed of Raw get interrupted by a segment from Scott Pilgrim versus the World tonight? Scott Pilgrim versus the World? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that what happened? Is that what happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. There there was a base battle. There was a base battle. Yes. There was a base battle, but one guy was using an acoustic and the other guy was using a cello. It was, weird. <laughs> it was odd. It was not what I expected. Uh, but it, it, I don't it, think that was what anyone expected. No, it wasn't. There was some discussion on Twitter from some friends of the show about whether well, do we do the humor? Do we do the humor yet? Are we ready for Braun to be funny, Braun? And uh, Braun's Braun's already been funny. Braun. That's what I'm th- I'm thinking. So so here's here. Uh, let's let's pose this question before we get too deep into anything else. So, and again, I don't like to play armchair booker. All I can say is, you know, first of all, I enjoyed the hell out of sorry, everything sorry. that happened there. We have a whole segment on the show tomorrow night of us playing armchair booker. That is true. That is true. For the funsies. <laughs> for the funsies. But anyways, but no, I, I, um, I, you know, as far as Braun needs to be serious, Braun. Of course, Braun has been comedy Braun between the Elf parody and the Alexa Bliss uh, situation over on Mixed Match Challenge and all the promos online and everything like that. And Do, him being Batman. And him being Batman. But but not, you know, taking that for what it is, can, can we separate that? Does that part of canon, you know, is that okay? Or just because, you know, we didn't show funny Braun over on the um you know we didn't show funny braun over on 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 monday night raw where millions are watching does that mean the rest of funny braun doesn't exist hey you know what if 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 they're not gonna give him the world title we might as well fucking do something with him we might as well get funny Braun. no they've been doing plenty with him and you know it goes that but but that's what i'm saying like you can't have him do these overly aggressive violent acts if you're not going to capitalize on him in pay-per-view matches so, okay. Okay. So, so have him be hu- have him be humorous because it's going to lead into a feud with the person who's probably going to eliminate him from the elimination chamber, Miz. Mm-hmm. Could be. okay. That, All right. That's my bet. That's that's, that's bet. your bet on that. You're you're saying a Miz elimination of Braun somehow. There because will be shenanigans. Honestly, what else is Braun going to do at WrestleMania if he's not going for the Intercontinental title? Really? You don't see Braun completely winning the Elimination Chamber and going back after Bla- Brock? <laughs> Silly rabbit, no. No. What? You don't just see a giant beefcake off at WrestleMania? I don't see anything w- other than that. I would love to. Yeah. So Roman, Roman is winning that chamber. Uh... Rome, I, Sorg, 10 buck bet. 10 buck bet? Or 10 buck? 10 buck. Do I have bots yet? I, I don't. I don't think we we're talking about. It. For those I, that don't know, so don't know. so I, se- I, several I saw times. The in my wallet. I brought some extra money back from Thailand a couple years ago, and since since then we've been, uh, uh, you know, ten bot at a time, which I think accounts to about thirty some cents uh, American, uh, and we've been betting on it. I forget what you put up on your side, but uh, um, I, I believe I have some some uh, Japanese currency somewhere. You, you have some Japanese currency and everything, but. Uh, Here's the ten buck. The ten buck. Yeah, that's the one I did give you. Uh, uh, so, and I might have still one in the old office before we moved here. Uh, so, uh, okay, 
All right. Uh, so our ten bot bet is is Roman versus uh, Braun going to WrestleMania, uh, Brock. winning. No, Braun. Brock. Braun. No, no, Roman versus Brock. No, I mean Roman. No, Roman. Oh, you versus, Roman Braun versus Braun winning. No, 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 no. Roman versus Braun is the bet, as in who wins Elimination Chamber. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Ten bot bet has been established. Checks yes. in the mail. Um, <laughs> but Ooh, uh. it's happening. All right, but that was fun. I mean, Elias, amazing. Um, you know, has the crown in the palm of his hand. His hand. Somebody I, I saw um, um, re retweeted from a week ago when I said uh, that guy you know, can swing a crowd better than uh, as good as Vince McMahon only. Uh, so other than that, you know, I think there was, I think there was a lot of good. Raw has been good at good wrestling lately. Whether it's keeping it, your interest, yeah. there have been good matches. I know, yes. I yeah. know no, that, they get. I'll, I'll no, here's that. here's I'll the thing: that. they get broken up by the Biggie and Tupac uh, uh, advertisements. that are just driving, grading on everybody's freaking nerves. Uh, I, I saw a lot on Twitter tonight. So, so I think that might make partial the difference, and we're stretching the matches out because there's commercial breaks and everything. Maybe not everything deserves a a you know three segment match. You know, nope. I think I, I I subscribe to the old um was it Vince Russo that said that no no match should go through a commercial break, and it actually did it. Chris think, Chris, I Chris think so, Joseph yeah. I think is also a fan of that philosophy too, if I recall. Well. Uh, if you watch Lucha Underground, unless it's like a huge match like Aztec Warfare, Absolutely. they don't do that. No, they don't. Very rarely do they do that, right? Uh, so uh, from the chat, from the chat, Joshua in the uh, chat room says he wants ba- Balor not to get buried anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. If, if you thought Balor was going to get any kind of play this WrestleMania season, may I present Jason Jordan's injury? Hmm. Mm. Is yep. that where it was going to go? Yeah, well, you, no, you no. You thought it was I mean, Balor and Jordan? I no, because Seth Rollins was already going to be fighting Jason Jordan, so oh, he wouldn't yeah, have yeah. inserted it. But now we have I, – I seriously – I want the shield to go away again. I just I just need – I need six months shield yeah, free. It's barely there. It's barely no, there. It's, it's shieldish. Sorry. Two-thirds of the Elimination Chamber is going – one-third of the Elimination Chamber is going to be the shield. Checking the math, checking the math. You're right. Yes. Yes. And two of them, two, uh, uh, another third has musical talent, and the last yes. third is John Cena. Well, John Cena also has musical talent. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. half of the chamber is a musical chamber. You could say. Oh, sword, we got a three-man band situation going on. You could say we, we could have some band situation. elimination chamber music. And Matt, I see your comment that there is no shield. You know what? If there is no shield, why are they all still wearing flak vests? They're just a couple of dudes. No, wait, wait, wait. Only, only Roman, because Roman, it's still, it's because th- Roman has never escaped the shield. No, Roman is stuck in the past, and yeah. and not like in the fun Doc Brown kind of way where he gets to bang a hot teacher lady. No, he's just stuck in the past. Okay, that's okay. a that's a Back to the Future three reference, kids. Because we are cultured here on this show, uh, absolutely. You, you did have some comments about John Cena. You 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 messaged me early in, in that. <sighs> we started with John Cena. Um, uh, lol, John Cena wins. That means uh-huh. the Miz is set at number one. Yep, and the Miz is going to go all the way to lose to Roman Reigns because Roman needs to get that win back, y'all. That's, um, that's uh, Max, Max was, uh saying that it's the first ever seven elimination chamber since we had the double win tonight. I was thinking about it. I was like, can we no. just uh, can we just stuff two guys into a, into a chamber? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Are they announcing this? Are they? No. It, it, hold on. Let, let's check the Twitter feeds. They might actually be announcing that it's going to be a seven man elimination chamber. It, they could very well. I'm guessing there's going to be a match next week or something, and you know. I we, would assume that there's a match next week. We we left with the question: the, Who's going to be number six? You know, but uh, yeah, who's who's the sixth man? Is it Hulk Hogan? No, well, no, 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 no. no. Uh, <laughs> they only took the vest off. I, anytime, anytime someone asks me who the such and such man is, I assume it's Hulk Hogan. I, 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 I okay. I know. I know. If you had a seven-man elimination chamber, it does make sense to start with a three-way, right? 
but I think it's way more fun than just stuff two guys into a chamber. Just saying, just saying, especially if they don't like each other. Oh, hold on, Sorg, which two guys would you stuff into a chamber? Well, the ones I question. So Seth and uh, Seth and Finn, right? Although then Finn's also like Demon Finn. You know what? You know what? Put Seth and Roman in there. We can get we, Seth and Roman. Put, yeah, and you know, put, yeah, put the buddies. Put the buddies in there. Yeah, yeah. You guys are practically one person of the Shield, so why not, right? You're yeah. The, you're the multi-headed cerebrus hound of justice, so so why not just stick you guys in the chamber? Practically the same guy, both with greasy hair, kind of a beard thing going on. Um, you know, I, does does Roman like CrossFit? Um, I believe Roman eats CrossFit mm, for breakfast. Uh, no, no, that's just that's a supplement he gets. Oh yeah, Manny is updating us that uh, Kurt Angle has announced it on the Facebook Raw Live page. I. I what what the fuck? What stop what? announcing shit different places. What do we what do we pay for cable for anymore? <laughs> Cause, Seriously. Cause like, the, uh, why did I watch three hours of Raw, two and a half hours of Biggie and Tupac commercials just for the result to be on fucking Facebook? Yeah, yeah. You know, we're on Facebook and and I I don't know. I don't know. I why do we even do this? <laughs> You know, why do we do any of this, Mike? I... Hmm. Anyways, because it's Monday night. I don't even see where this is because WWE hasn't even tweeted it. Jeez. Jeez. And thank you, Chris, for also for confirming. Oh, oh, GM Kurt Angle has a solution. Oh, God. All Kurt right. Angle. Can yeah. we talk about Kurt Angle? I... Yeah, Roman's still winning the chamber, though, guys. Uh, okay. Oh, Braun. Completely Braun. Braun's going to do it. Sorg. Sorg, I want to be right. I mean, I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong. I want you to be no, right. No, you you want to be right because you want you want to be a no, 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 no. In, champion. In this particular situation, I want you to be right. Mm-hmm. I want you to be right. Mm -hmm. But you're not. <laughs> Braun. If Braun isn't building to something really big at WrestleMania, then this is for nothing. And, and after and after things, yeah, no, 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 no. Braun no. is going to power slam Miz and the Miz Taraj all at the same time. Yeah. No, no, no. That's look at the okay. Anyways, anyways, back to yes. Raw tonight. A uh, great match between Bailey and Sasha Banks. Only you get squished yep. by Nia. Uh huh. Um, again, Nia's not even in the match, guys. Why are we built? I there's a lot of things I don't understand about tonight's. Well, doesn't she have Asuka? At, yes, at the chamber. She's not in the chamber. Right. She's if got she was Asuka. in the chamber. If she was in the chamber, her attacking both Bailey and Sasha would make sense. However, she's saying that because she took Bailey and Sasha out with one move, that she should beat Asuka. Spoiler Ooh. alert, she's wrestled Asuka before. Many times. Several in the last month on Raw. Like, is this just punishment because Nia tweeted out that Ronda Rousey stole all their thunder? I think it's Cause just because I, I think it's punishment. I want I want to just pull back a second and remember that uh, before this, Nia was in a position to be the love interest of uh, uh, he who should not be named, certified um, off the list guy. Hold on, we we need to make up we need to make up a moniker, um, for that wrestler since we have a uh, Canadian wrestler acts. We need something else. Mm. Certified fired. Certified. How about certified? certified. The certified, certified. G. Uh, okay. uh, yes, exactly. Matt Carlos yes. is saying that uh, this better lead us to Seth versus Kurt. Oh, oh that's not happening. <laughs> I think it could happen. No, no, no. You want you want to know what my bet is for Seth Rollins? You want to know what my bet is for Seth Rollins? Mm. Ronda Rousey needs a partner against Triple H and Stephanie. Ooh, doesn't she? she? Yeah, it'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. Uh, I don't. I don't want that. And you're voting for. And you're thinking that's what's going to happen? I think that's what's going to happen now. I don't think that was the original plan. But if ah. someone is off promoting a movie where he physically cannot complete the jump that's on the poster, you know. <laughs> The physics of the skyscraper movie poster is confounding and it leads to amazing photoshops. I, I shared it. It doesn't it, work. It, it doesn't work. I am a scientist. You are it a scientist. You are a scientist. Exactly. Un unless that bionic leg is like Spider-Man has a grapple hook on it. Like uh, that's not happening. Sleazy E is a recognition is a, rec a recommendation for our uh, rest, uh, certifier G. 
Uh, G Wiz mm. is another one. Uh, no, Sleazy E is Eric Bischoff, though. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Maybe. Uh, Brandon says Sasha and Bailey is the female version of Jericho and Owens. Mm, potentially, yeah, I could see that. It could be. It could be. Uh, don't believe the hack science. He can uh, totally make that jump, says Matt Carlin's. He is, and uh, Matt Carlin's is a journalist. So so I'm, I'm so I'm a, so I'm nothing a nothing fake no news. fake fake news Matt Carlin's. I think he's calling fake news on you. I'm calling fake news on Matt Carlin's. Hmm. Matt Carlin's is saying science doesn't exist. I'm saying he's fake news. Settle Welcome it. to 2018. Welcome to 2018, guys. This is the discussions we have. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can you uh, tell not a lot happened on Raw tonight if we're talking about The Rock skyscraper jump They poster? really kind of, like, expanded the wrestling, had less story, but had then had really story. great. I mean, the night is made. The night will be membered, member buried by, uh, by, by Braun and Elias. Yes. I mean, yes, easily the most fun I've ever had watching someone play a cello. Absolutely. I would say the second most fun I've had watching somebody play a cello. Explain. Um, I think I heard a uh, Super Mario Brothers Cello edition, plus video games live okay. was pretty cool. I mean, video games okay. live was pretty freaking cool. So, okay, yes. that's fair. Acceptable. Acceptable. Uh, uh, yes. Um, but yeah, not a lot else happened on Raw tonight. <laughs> Maxwell is calling for y'all. Y'all never know what can happen at WrestleMania 34. Bobby Lashley can make his return at the grandest stage of them all. Oh God! Oh, that. <laughs> oh. I don't even want him on our Mayhem Mania card. <laughs> no. What does that tell you? Yeah. Besides, true. he's he's get, he's gonna be the Raw after WrestleMania surprise. You think? Ah, uh, I think so. What if he came back and he was managed by Armando Estrada? Uh, that that'd be a, that'd be weird. But kind of cool. That'd but be kind of kind of that'd amazing. Be re- that'd be real real weird. Yes. So, well, anything else from Raw that got your attention? It, I got to say, you know, anytime I, it, it drew my attention away, there was some great wrestling. Again, the women's match was awesome. Uh, Elias and Braun was a great moment. Uh, and and oh, that my, was my, mostly... Oh, my point's about John Cena. Oh, oh, oh you, have, was... you have yes. a John Cena rant, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, um, wait, oh, wait, roll back a second. Roman yeah. and Sheamus. I enjoyed that. It was that. fine. I enjoyed it. Yeah. That was fun. I have nothing wrong with any of the in-ring action it was fine it mm. ultimately didn't mean a whole hell of a lot not even the main event apparently but like i don't know it's it was a lot it was three hours worth of wrestling it was it was a lot of wrestling mm-hmm. I, I would just prefer anyone to think of a story tell a story in uh, the ring uh, man yeah no i and and i get that but you can also tell stories outside of the ring yeah, and Maxwell's saying that the Miz and CM matches get boring because you know what's going to happen. And you've seen it so many times. Like, uh, uh, whenever Miz gets in there like, with Cena. Like how exciting would we How excited would we be about Raw if Miz did win right in that first segment? Yeah. How excited would we have been? Because it would have been unpredictable. It would have been something we didn't but, see coming. But then aren't you going to think, oh, John Cena's just going to run through the whole thing because he's John Cena. He's going to do that anyway. Spoiler alert. John Cena is probably the first guy out of the pod. My 20 bot says no. But anyway, so he's number three. So uh, anyways, yeah. go, go back to your – Is it, was that yeah, your point? Yeah, my John Cena. Yes. No, my John Cena thing. Um, all right. And, and this started a couple weeks ago when he wrestled with Finn. John Cena needs to shut the fuck up about, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be at WrestleMania this year. You're on the motherfucking poster. Front and center. Guess what? If you're not in a title match, you're going to find a way to get to WrestleMania somehow because all you have to do, here's a two-step process for John Cena to get on WrestleMania. Sorg, are you ready? Are you ready for it? Really? I mean, you know, it, it, it's been how many years in the business and he doesn't know how to get WrestleMania? You know, you know what he does? You have a wedding. Well, no, well, no Sorg, Sorg. Two-step process to get John Cena on, Rus- on WrestleMania. Are you ready? Step one, be John Cena. Step two, challenge anybody. Literally anyone not booked. He did drop a line about Undertaker. Yeah, he, yeah he, and that's exactly where I'm going with this. He's already hedging his bets. Uh-huh. 
by saying that legends will, legends can rise at WrestleMania. Like, okay, then if you're challenging the Undertaker, why are we even doing this? What you don't know that? Oh, you're pre- you're you, predictive. You I know how wrestling works. You, just just go with the ride, man. You're not supposed to know that. No, we are supposed to know that. He literally he. Uh, he almost winked into it's the like, camera when he said it. <laughs> Do you it's like a sitcom. Rumble, do you remember that one Royal Rumble commercial where the end of it is John Cena just staring into the camera and he winks? Guess who won the Royal Rumble that year? John fucking Cena. <laughs> John Cena's <laughs> wink into the camera is like the Vince McMahon, I guarantee it. Yeah, exactly. Like, like you don't need to... Force yourself into a match at WrestleMania. You're on the poster. I think you're going to be fine, kid. All right. Let me, let me make you happy again. This is not the yeah. show for it, but just real quick. What are your, are you, are you, are you excited to see the new temple in the um, underground? I, I have one thought about yes. the new temple. Hey, Sorg. Hmm. What, what's cooler than being cool? Being way cool? Ice cold! All right, 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 Yes, I'm excited for the new temple. Amazing. Amazing. And further pushing the Mortal Kombat references, I think. I hope Too Cold Scorpio shows up. Oh, Too Cold Scorpio. I know. Which Underground Season 4. Brock's had a great reference to Glacier. Hashtag Chili Willy. Hashtag Too Cold Scorpio. Hashtag Glacier. Hashtag, um... Oh, what's another ice themed wrestler, Sorg? <laughs> ice T, who performed Pimpin' Ain't Easy at WrestleMania 16. Boom! I think Mark the, it all down. I think one of the indie wrestlers is the Iceman. Is that Tony Johnson guy, the Iceman? Was oh, it, was ice, it train. ice Train! Oh, ice Train! Ice Train! Fire and ice! Get on the ice train, bitches! But where's Ice Train been? Scott Norton's still doing stuff in Japan. He's still killing people hey, in Japan. Sorg, Sorg, Scott, Flash Norton. Respect the flash, Sorg. Mm-hmm. Respect mm-hmm. the flash. <laughs> and we're going to have to have a discussion tomorrow on whether um, the re- recent Rey Mysterio New Japan thing. I'm going to have to re-up my New Japan now that that's happening. So... I still want to know how he escaped the fucking cage. I know, right? Maybe they'll solve that Unless, in New Japan. Hold, hold, hold. Uh, Sorg, Sorg, um, I, I know we're running short. Did you see The Last Jedi? Yes, of course. Is Rey Mysterio force projecting himself into <gasps> other wrestling companies? Wow. <laughs> Which is exactly the question we're going to ask Christopher Joseph when we get him oh on the show God, very that's soon. Why he appeared, that's why he appeared younger. By the way. Oh, my God. We just cracked this. We, we just cracked it. We did. Now none of us need to watch season four of Lucha Underground. Or The Last Jedi. Or The Last Jedi, apparently. No. <laughs> No, uh, Mike. How much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? Oh, how long did that Elias segment last? Uh, I, I want to give it a good ten, fifteen minutes on that one, right? Okay. Uh, so twenty-five minutes. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I'll say an hour twenty. Hour twenty. Okay. I'm gonna go an hour forty-five. I and it's again. I will. I will temper this with. I was doing a lot of work while watching Raw. And so I have that curve of, does it raise my head to get some attention, right? And some of the matches did, as we mentioned. And, uh, you know, it's Monday Night Raw. It's wrestling. It's good wrestling. It is amazing that we get matches on this level on a regular basis versus, as we've talked about with New Japan, where you do not get Wrestle Kingdom every week, right? Uh, You know, and even when there are the big shows in between, only a few people are really pushing it. So it's interesting to see how that goes. So... Uh, Mad Mike is Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitters. That is correct. Uh, and also Sorg, um, we'll have to talk later about the the revelations on two hundred five live. Uh, but anyway, and also uh, hours left. Uh, we'll probably go until the morning. Uh, voting on the Mayhemies is still going on. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Look for the Mayhemies post over there. You can vote for the best dressed on the show, the best uh, interview on the show this year, uh, your favorite host of the show. It's very a interesting. Vote for Mad Mike is a vote for free ice cream. Mm, speaking of ice cream, you need to watch that uh, Black Diamond match I just posted, as we mentioned, I think, uh, before the show. Um, also, free wrestling going on at IndiaWrestling.us's Facebook page and YouTube. Uh, our friends at Black Diamond Wrestling this weekend uh, had a 
uh, come out and film. And uh, we're uh, we're showing some of the great stuff from the uh, Royal A tournament that they had, the Haas tournament. If you like Braun Strowman, uh, how about a good uh, Haas off? Uh, it's going to be coming up here on that. So thanks to those guys for letting us come out and hang out with them and uh, and shoot some wrestling. Uh, and, uh, geez, uh, we'll be here at 9 p.m. Eastern time, the Mayhemi Special Edition. Make sure, Mike, make sure you get your suit, jacket, clip-on tie, mm-hmm. ready. As long as I got my suit and tie. Yeah, it's a special occasion. Uh, we will be presenting all of the, all of the Mayhemis and have some fun. And, of course, the next cutthroat edition of the Mayhem Mania uh, thought experiment game uh, that you guys can play along and, with. And Sork, Sork, if they have last minute suggestions, where can they send in? That's that right. Email? If you, uh, there will be a a user. Uh, I think he's going to pick one user. Uh, viewer's choice. Viewer's, viewer's choice, choice for a move, and uh, you can send those to Mayhem Mania at SorgatronMedia.com, and uh, we'll get those over to Mainstream Matt. I don't know how he's selecting, and, of course, there's also the guessing game of what is Matt's dream match for Mayhem Mania 2018. Of course, check the hottest post-podcast show, Talking Mayhem Mania, on the Facebook. The hottest new show on the Internet. It's only the third year we've done it. The uh, hottest new show on the Internet, Sword. We do it every week, hence every week it is new. Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry, there's interesting <laughs> chats going on right now. Um, but anyways, uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. We'll see you next time, again, live right after, after this. Uh, subscribe to the Wrestling Mayhem Show super feed for this podcast as well. We'll see you guys next time. Until then, keep it raw.